How you doing, Ranger? I'm gonna drop beer. Next. Mm -hmm. Got your manager and chef. Alright right, guys, welcome. We're back. Still alive. Uh, figured time to make another one of these videos. I've been spending all of my time down here uh, in the bait cave uh, making baits. was fortunate enough to go out with Nick Holt and won a tournament here recently on Lake of the Ozarks on uh, Brush Hog and the 10 inch AB worm and orders have been flying in so thank you guys for that uh, but for this video we're gonna make a new color just came up with it last night I uh, threw it out there on my Facebook page Riley Phillips fishing if you haven't seen that go check it out and uh, Alex I think won with his comment this one is uh, gonna be called dirty money it's a very dark black and green bait and a green flake and we're gonna make it up for you guys tonight so if you haven't yet, make sure you go subscribe to the YouTube channel down below. And uh, we're going to get busy. I've got 100 AB worms sitting right here that I need to tear apart and package up. And we're going to get started with that. My boy uh, Cole wanted 100, so you got it. They're headed your way. All right, so what you have in front of you is 100 of my AB worms in blue fleck. All right, these have been doing a lot of damage down at Lake of the Ozarks. So, got your sprue, your runner, all that. It's remelt. It's good for another shot. So it just goes back in the pot. There's four. It is, this, this is a lot of rinse and repeat. So I've got 100 here. I'm going to put 50 in each package. My packages are custom made. Uh, they're Ziplocs. All right. I mean, it's nothing special. I'm not going to go out and buy uh, custom-made packages for my worms. It's going to cost me more, which ends up it's going to cost the consumer more. They do the job. So, oh yeah, you're getting them all in one package. <laughs> now, here's one thing I like to do in my packages. These things stick especially these ribbon tail worms like to stick to the plastic pretty bad it's not a necessity but it's a good thing to do i like to get the old worm oil as you can see i am pretty well out just lubricate up the baits shoot some down in there in the bag shoot it on the bag don't put too much because the longer these baits set they will soak up that oil and they will become brittle they will literally start to fall apart. If you touch them, they turn to dust. There is 100 AB worms. Now I should have another mold coming, hopefully sooner than later. It's hard to get molds right now because of the Rona and everybody's busy and yeah, everybody's buying fishing stuff. So, so cold. There you go, 100 worms. Put them to work, boy. All right, so on to what this little episode is really about, is we are going to make a dirty money. So it's a pretty simple color. Uh, it consists of black, avocado green, and three different styles of green flake. Uh, this is a good nighttime color. It's a very dark bait, but it's got good green flash to it. So we're gonna heat up the plastic for uh, four or five minutes and we'll be right back. All right, so first part for dirty money. A little bit of black, a little bit of green. All right, black is a very overpowering color. Two drops of black is about the same. 30 drops of anything else. Top of the green, make sure you always mix this stuff up. Shake it like a salt shaker. And there's the green. Just mix in that green. Looks like John Deere green. Now it won't really change colors here. You won't see it too much. The camera will pick it up. It starts to turn kind of an olive dark drab green, which in 
might see on the knife. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Well, that turns just kind of a. There you go. And then this is where the fun comes. Flake. She's got a lot of glitter. She's a sparkly. So we're going to start a quarter teaspoon of each three sizes of flake. Make sure I get that in the camera. So, big flake. And we'll go with the 035, get another generous spoon. And last thing but not least, the old 15. Probably could go with an 8th, but you know, that's not what we're about. Load it up. I like my plastic like I like my women. Loaded. <laughs> getting thick. It's getting thick. Figured we'd put this in our uh, 10 inch AB worm would look good at night. Brush hogs. Yeah, I'm going to heat this back up. So, shoot some baits. We got the 10 inch ribbon tail worm up first. AB worm. Holds cold, doesn't want to shoot very good. And over here to a brush hog. And then another brush hog. And that's pretty well an injector full. Top them off. Back in the cup, making a heck of a mess, but that's all right. Now, one question a lot of people ask is, well, you know, how long can you leave plastic in the mold before you need to tear it apart? That depends on a couple things. How hot are you shooting your 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 baits? Are you shooting them over 350? You're shooting them around 300. And the other thing is. How hot are your molds? So that was my first shot. It had probably been about a minute, and you know, I'm ready to pull them out because the molds are cold. So here's your uh, brush hog. Get it right here where you can see it. Something like that. Time for the other brush hog mold. Da -da -da. Let's see what happens. They usually don't want to cooperate. Hey. Said something right. There you go. That looks so good. I do know if I was a fish, I'd eat it. But I've also said if I was a fish, I'd go for a lot of boat rides. Get over here, you guys can see it. 10 inch ribbon tail worm that generally goes everywhere. Good. Dirty money. Wow. All right. So I'm gonna slap all this back together. I've got probably another cup and a half or a cup. So I will see you guys when I get all this plastic shot. I'll let you see all the baits. All right. So there you go. That uh, it's gonna end this one. You guys like what you see? Dirty money. I'm sure I'm going to be making a lot more videos of, of bait making coming up because from what I've hearing, uh, a lot of stores are out of soft plastics. So if you got something you want me to try to replicate, produce, create, hit me up. I'm usually checking it on my fishing page on Facebook. So, uh, so that's it for this one. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more bait making videos coming up, especially this winter. Um, still taking orders. Let me know. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.